Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to give you a tour of some of my ant colonies I'm keeping. My native Finnish ants are in hibernation right now, so in this episode, I'm showing you some of my exotic ants I'm keeping. First up is a species of sugar ants from the Canary Islands, scientifically called Camponotus feae. I caught this queen last January when I was on a family trip to the island Gran Canaria. It was the most common species of Camponotus over there and they were a joy to look at in the wild. At first, the colony's future didn't look very bright at first, due to the first workers that the queen produced. They were quite weak and scrawny looking. You can see that they had some silk from their cocoons stuck on their backs. The other worker also lost function on its back legs. So, they didn't live over a month, but it was enough to support the queen in raising the second generation of workers, which fortunately were stronger and more fit. This is what the colony looks like now. Clearly doing much better with loads of brood and full bellies as you can see from their stretched gasters. This species is known for having repletes, which means some individuals in the colony purposely fill up their stomachs with food acting as living storage. Storing the food inside their bodies helps keep the nest hygienic since their humid nests can act as bacterial breeding grounds if the food is kept lying around. Their native habitat is also very arid, making the food scarce, so storing food like this helps them keep going and avoid starvation during dry periods. You can probably see that one worker is clearly bigger than the rest. That is the colony's first major worker. The genus Campanotus is known for their polymorphism, meaning they have different sized workers in the colony. The miners, the smallest workers, do most of the work in the colony like food gathering and tending to the brood. The majors, the big ones, use their large heads filled with muscle to help defend the colony. In this species, the majors also serve as extra large storage units due to the large gasters. I have grown really fond of this colony, and they have done pretty well so far, so I hope they will keep growing in the future.
Second is another Canary Islands endemic I caused last January, called Messer Minor. Ants in the genus Messer are known commonly as harvester ants. These ants are granivorous, meaning that they eat mostly seeds. These seeds are stored in their nests, and when they are ready to eat, they turn it into something called ant bread. They grind the seeds down with their mandibles and mix their saliva, making it an easy to eat and nutritious food source. Messer Minor is also known for their beautiful coloration. Their shiny red bodies are an absolute joy to look at. The bigger workers is, are especially vibrant and the largest workers of the mature colonies I saw in the wild were stunning. I can't wait for this colony to produce those kinds of workers. Even though they eat mostly grains, they still have an appetite for insect flesh. They have never turned down an opportunity to devour some pieces of mealworm. I usually feed them mealworm twice a week to boost their protein intake, as I want the population to grow as fast as possible. They are quite shy and panic at the slightest vibrations. I hope as they grow in numbers, they grow in confidence too. Right now the colony is about 100 workers strong, so let's hope they keep growing in the future. For our third and last species for this video is called Liometopum microcephalum. I caught this queen in late June in Romania at my grandmother's house. Even though I have seen these species in the wild as they form large, almost army ant-like trails, I have never seen a queen before or even a nest, so I'm not very familiar with this species. But one thing is very clear, which is that they grow insanely fast. No other colony in my care before has grown this much in just three months. This is what they looked like two months ago after capturing the queen. And here is how they look now. It's absolutely insane how fast they grow. They easily are the fastest growing species I have ever kept. This rate of growth also gives them an insatiable appetite, always wanting more food, and they are never satisfied.
they don't have a common name, but their ability to form huge trails has earned them the name of European Army Ant among many ant keepers. But this doesn't really fit them in my opinion, because there is an American counterpart for this species known as Liometopum occidentale, which has a much better suiting colloquial name, the velvety tree ant. These ants nest in trees, and their trails often lead to other trees where they tend to aphids for their honeydew. One thing I love about them is the size difference between the queen and the workers. The workers are tiny compared to the giant queen and they even climb on her. The workers work diligently to groom her and keep her clean. The queen health is of utmost importance. She is the most important member of the colony after all. Unlike the colonies from the Canary Islands, this colony will have to hibernate soon, so their brood isn't developing as much anymore and they will completely stop growth until next spring. So, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed this showcase of my exotic colonies. From their food storing and bread making to explosive growth, all these colonies have something cool going for them. They have been an absolute joy to keep. Thank you for watching this video.